Hey. Hey. Is it actually recording or is it just? It's no, it's actually recording. What do you think it's happening? Oh, because that was music before we started. Sometimes, so. Oh, I just click uh, play at the same time. That's it. All right. Let me just check something on LinkedIn. LinkedIn is again. I don't want to pick on LinkedIn, but. Uh, Just make me sure that. Just want to make sure that. Ah. I don't know why, but the stream key and the stream URL from for LinkedIn always changing. It's, it's a mess. Anyway, hello. Hello. So, oh, let me check something. I think I have a problem. I have many problems. I we need to give you problems. <laughs> but I'm not saying. And a computer is one. <laughs> Actually, a computer is like 75 of your problems in a given day. Everything else is fine, usually. <laughs> Just all the things happening on a computer and a phone. <sighs> okay. I'm not sure if LinkedIn is live, but... We never are, though, are we? Yeah. We never are. Well, we're always having LinkedIn drama. That's all I'm saying. We have always LinkedIn drama. I know. It's on, on, uh, is it on, on YouTube. We're on, on YouTube. Yeah, so it's good. Ah, we have one minute left. So let's uh, definitely a dev problem of middle week. I don't know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what day is it? Oh yeah, it's Wednesday. Man, this week has been one long year. <laughs> <laughs> I love. Oh wow, that, I'm I'm taking that now. This was, uh, I know. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. I've, it's fun though to to. to I stole that from somewhere. Oh yeah, from who? Yeah. Oh, it's just in there somewhere. somewhere. Sorry, what were you going to say? I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it sounded like you were like, ah. Uh, 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 I, I think there's a language to be said on having, uh, you know, meaning online to mm. or stop. There's, you need a sound. You can just say, uh, you need more than that, but uh, but I don't know where to, when to cut people. It's a nightmare, of course. I'm I know. So, so I yeah. know that sometimes I sound I rude, agree. but yeah. I don't know how. My, my go-to is, well... <laughs> <laughs> and then it, it dot, dot, dots, or I go, hmm. hmm. But it's like... You either That's need to be not. making listening sounds the entire time, and then you're like, mm hmm, you know, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, like, or yeah, it's just weird. Yeah. Well, there's some, a weird. trick that I it's working well with you, especially, is I'm not looking <laughs> at the camera. I'm looking at the sky, thinking too much. You're waiting for me to, you know, give any feedback, and you say. <laughs> What's happening with Benoit? I have to bring him back. And so he's asking me, well, do you have something to say, Benoit? Well, glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> so. It just so happens that I do. <laughs> well, it's I'm just true. Thinking, I'm thinking, I'm really thinking. Um, and I want to listen at the same time. It's hard, so I want to listen. But if I'm thinking, I cannot listen. So for me, it's like getting away from the screen and just really think. But yeah, it's, it's not polite, but I, I, I have one brain, you know, uh, so. <laughs> it's true. I, I completely, I completely get it. And I think that like getting into that habit, especially on video calls of being like, Hey, so-and-so, what do you think? Hey, yeah, and like asking people and really inviting them in kind of helps with that need to like interrupt and start the conversation yourself but it's like how often do you do that in a f normal flow of conversation because we're used to 
just being in person. Exactly. So like, I guess you could just have a little alarm that goes off every five minutes. <laughs> Benoit, are you okay? What about you? What about you? What about you? Anyone? Well, talking about inviting someone in, let's invite uh, Cassie to a Dev Point of the Week uh, mm. this week. So let's talk about it. Um, so the title is Data Visualization. Data Visualization. So Data Visualization usually show progress, but I want to show what needs to be done instead. Hmm. So I'll let you read it. <laughs> Okay, Cassie, what's up, buddy? So I'm having an issue regarding dashboard design. I'm designing an operational dashboard and for my users, they need to see what needs to be done instead of knowing how much they've done. For example, they have 12 applications they need to submit and they submitted nine. Currently, I tried designing with the usual data charts, like a bar chart or radial bar, like a 75% filled, uh, more, three more applications. The image above is just an example. So the issue comes when I want to alert them about the three applications they've yet to submit. It does not seem to flow because the chart shows completion, but the numbers and the more important uh, information shows incompletion. Uh, please let me know any suggestions you have or any resources you think can help me. Greatly appreciated, Cassie. Do you love this problem? I do. I think you do. I like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do you think is a problem? But there's something well, about needs to get things done. Finally. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Not just a UI. No, to help someone get things done in real life. Weird. Um, so the problem. And it's a HR type of, uh, I think it's an HR app or something like that, right? It's an application. So Applications need to be submitted. Uh, I, that's interesting. I thought immediately like uh, mortgages or like finance products or something. Ooh. But it doesn't matter too much. We can just do what we feel. I would love to do more dig, um, for uh, because it's a little bit more complex than just HR stuff. Let's do that. Let's 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 okay. take this assumption that um, someone uh, internally, I mean, would need to review some applications. Okay, as a mortgage broker. Because there's an urgency definitely to those applications. Yeah. Um, yeah, they have all the, like, well, <laughs> in, in real life, they're doing a lot of emailing. <laughs> so, <laughs> but let's pretend they have a more sophisticated setup going. Um, and the, and they need to like review them, check them if they have, uh, uh, all the attachments that they need or check the logic or whatever. So that, I know you know more than me about that. So, well, we at PNP worked on yeah. a digital Canadian digital mortgage platform for quite a while. So <laughs> perch, if anybody needs a mortgage, perch. go there. It's the best. Yeah. The best. Um, as a mortgage broker, I need to review um, and action applications in a timely manner. What's timely manner? Can you be more precise? Because you know more about it. Timely is in 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours during the day. I would say, oh, that's a good question. I think that probably there'll be various levels of urgency around your applications according to like the condition when the conditions come off of the offer or like for example if you have an offer out there and it's the condition is um uh financing and it has mm -hmm. a specific date um that's sooner then 
probably everything in the application would be more urgent the sooner the that deadline is. What about doing that? You know, can sure. you? Yeah, that would be great. So, application from um, financial. What you said exactly? Uh, okay, so let me just. As a mortgage broker, I need to review an action applications urgent um, according to their deadlines. Mm -hmm. um, so that people can, can get a house. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, is there something that where, you know, in mortgage, you need to have, uh, have approval in, yes. uh, in, 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 a well, the, the, in a time because there's an offer on the table or something like that? So you need something before the offer expires or something like that? Is, is, is yeah. It? Yeah, yeah. That's exactly it. I need so to review an action. Before, Sorry, I don't know, before the offer expire. Uh, yeah, there you go. Okay. 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 Good, good, good. Good. Okay. Yeah, there's sort of something about like you going through a feed every day and having the most essential things looked at that you can, um, things that you can action, actioning them. Uh, yeah. The other thing is, oh, I guess we don't have to tie it and uh, into the dashboard at all. But like, is there a by end of day aspect to things or should it yeah but we have we that's have my question that's what i love timely manner yeah. is buzzword you know you know everything mm -hmm. should be in timely manner <laughs> you know in life but before the offer expires this is a variable an element that i kind of like uh, and we kind of need to maybe talk about it because now we can think about we, we can talk about a question and all uh, so there's things to be done but there's things that are more engine than the other. So which one? It's not just about mm -hmm. the one. So we need, um, let's, let's slowly create a couple of post-it about it, ask them a question. So, uh, so there's something about, uh, no, no, no. Um, yeah, you're writing something great. So we need to con to, sh to, to, Yeah, to convey, you know, what's the time? Maybe prioritizing what the the, mm -hmm. the task. So there's three left. Great, kind of important. Well, so, so the goal is to how uh, many left. Uh, but which one should I do first? Yeah, because it's. Um, this is a really distinct type of dashboard experience that this person's trying to create. Mm -hmm. um, typically, you know, you have different use cases for dashboards in general. Some of them are very like reporting and look at the data and dig into the data and um, control filters and things like that. Um, but other dashboards, this person like says specifically it's an operational dashboard in which case um, the really the main purpose of that is to urge you to do stuff um, show urgency freak you out a little bit about what you have to do um, and it's very status oriented status being um, like uh, pending urgent done that sort of thing so it's super like work oriented and status oriented not like you know it needs to wear prada or anything like that <laughs> or gucci <laughs> um, I, <laughs> good one okay great that's Thank important you. so the status of and <clears throat> and i would also say which one i would do first is which one will 
will take me more time to do. So I would imagine that some application have more complexity to it. Have to it will spend more time, maybe thirty minutes on this one, this one. So there's maybe a formula where okay, this I need to spend an hour, and but it's urgent, so I need to do that first. Uh, this other one will take me just five minutes to review. So there's something about um, first, but more complicated first, or something like that. Because mm -hmm. as a mortgage broker, how much time do you have in front of me? I have one hour, two hour, three hours, so which one? So helping them prioritize. It's not just us. It's maybe, okay, do you have 15 minutes or you have an hour in front of you? So, um, so it's how much time do I, can I dedicate to a task? So something like that would be interesting. We think about dashboard. Um, I want to question the fact that we're using a chart or a dashboard. Okay. I don't know. Hit me. I don't know. Just dashboard. Okay. Really? It's maybe the role of a dashboard. It's maybe not the role of a dashboard. So, um, yeah. It's dashboard or task list or... So... Let's say I have like, you know, 99 applications to review. Do I need that in the dashboard? It's, it's, is it relevant to have this kind of information? You know? I don't mm -hmm. know what you think. You, you work on, with uh, mortgage brokers. So. Well, um, a lot of these products really have like a home, a dashboard homepage type of experience. Mm. associated with them um and yeah so what's also kind of interesting i think to like another dynamic that's sort of interesting is that there may be like there may be a lot of applications in the funnel but there's only like a few that you have um control over or you're playing a role in mm. so in a given day so i could go to bed tonight um, and I had, you know, two in my queue, let's say, or two, two on my list to do. And then I could wake up tomorrow, tomorrow morning and there could be 13. And then, I don't know, next day there could be zero. Who knows? So, um, you know, forces outside of your control will stipulate that number potentially. So... Um, that high level total, I think actually is good context. What that data viz needs to do mm. entirely. Mm. <laughs> that's mm. my question. Like, does it, what does it, what purpose does it need to, to serve that? Well, I would assume it would be supported with a table view ultimately. And that's a real overview type of purpose. Um, Okay, so you brought the point. If you have a data, data table and the data table is not providing enough context or direction uh, or status, is having a data visualization will help? Or it's just a, um, a duct tape type of uh, feature? Yeah, I do. I would argue that it. It, it yeah. does help in the context of this like operational dashboard type of idea. Okay. Is it the starting point or it's uh, just so I can plan my day or plan the next hour? What do you think? Is it to... Is it the launch? Would... Is it the only, the, hmm. you know, the only chart on my dashboard or it's filled with other charts? I would say we could think about it in in terms of a point that you would start working from. That's what I would. So I, I would picture it on like an applications page um, and something represented kind of in the um, top 
type of zone. And then you could kind of use it as something to tick down from, or like to kind of try to do in a day or, or it would orient you to what's next, as you said. Orient you to what's next in an operation, impersonal, operational dashboard. So when you're looking at a dashboard, you're kind of, kind of planning what's next. Yeah. It's not about your performance at all. Uh, it's uh, it's yeah. about helping you to orient on what's next. Okay, I kind of okay. 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 Don um, on YouTube saying hmm. we you know or the can Kansas style interaction pattern could be useful. Can Ben Kansas Kansas ors the Kansas? No, oh, sorry. How's he spelling uh, that? Ors. Or is like or is a Kansas style direction. I will copy paste it in the uh, score. Um, if I have any idea how he's saying okay. something like that. Or if you feel like a can ban maybe or something. Can like ban. That. Can ban. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that, that 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 that's the thing that I'm curious about is can you have this data viz information right beside the actual task, the actual application? So the numbers maybe not enough. You need maybe to know a little bit more about. So maybe a name, uh, a, a code name, uh, something that is that is more than just their stream or application beside mm -hmm. or around. And that's why having this with the list of tasks where you can click and go on with your life, it's, it's, it's kind of Im Im important, right? It's not just you have three things to clean today. Well, I know what, what do I need to clean my house, my garage or my fridge? It's kind of important to know, you know? So, <laughs> uh, if it's a garage, great. I need beer, a sandwich, and four hours in front of me. And, and a big <laughs> plastic bag. <laughs> plastic bag. If it's the fridge, okay, I need gloves, and I want to get it done in the next 15 Mask. Years. <laughs> mask. Big plastic bag. <laughs> exactly. So um, I just need more about the actual application. Just a little bit. Do I need more? Give me more information. G give me something, you know. Can I sense this more than just number, I think, I feel. Yeah. Think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We could also think about it potentially as like a like a short cut to get to the stuff that's urgent get to you know the stuff that is urgent yeah okay that you need to work on now so that we can treat it like a queue of sorts um like a a, a, a shortcut to a queue of stuff okay. to do that's what i i mean i've seen lots of that um in this style of dashboard for sure well, let's start with that. Let's prototype what you have and uh, what you did maybe before. That could be a good starting point. All right. So you had a queue type of experience with visualization on the side or something like that, right? Uh, yeah. So I had basically like stuff, um, some top level numbers at the top and then a table below. Let's try that. So I'll get a little window for us. Well, bam. Um, do the top thing or do the, the data table? Okay. Do, 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 do. People are getting rambunctious at your co-working, Benoit. I can hear. Yeah, some people are working. Uh, I said working. No, they are in a meeting, so I don't know if they are working or not. <laughs> <laughs> They're definitely around. Yeah. So even if if my with my shotgun microphone, we can still hear them. That's okay. 
Uh, it, it really creates a sense that like, you know, like this is the busy P and P office. Everybody is around. Um, So it really interesting like anecdote here yeah. um, in my experience with designing these kinds of dashboards with uh, user testing sort of moments when I've chatted with people who've been like, I've actually had people say like, I need this dashboard to freak me out. Oh, really? I've actually had that as like a request uh, in this kind of context, which I thought was just so interesting. Like I never thought that somebody would ever say that mm. <laughs> as a thing that they want, you know, but they're like, no, I'd like lose track and I really want to be on top of this stuff, but I need it to like point me in the direction because, and I need it to freak me out and scare me. Like, uh, okay. <laughs> It's that f I, I do understand when, when yeah, I do understand that. Okay, okay, great, okay. So, application to do it completed. So there's a feeling of completion. I kind of love it. It's not just, we always have stuff to do, always have stuff to do. Uh, but it's kind of a, an interesting when you say, you know, you, you did a good job. Go on, you know, you're a good strike, you know. Um, so I kind of love that also in strike right. um, application. So tree oh. to do. No, it's it's not aligned. Sorry, I'm still. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> don't do that again. <laughs> align your stuff. Uh, don't do that again. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, um. Complete. Okay, so now. Now I kind of love it a little bit more uh, because there's things you have to do, complete. So you're not relying on one that I is, a couple of them, context. Um, and you can even say three important virgin. Something like that because I sort it by important urgent. And, yeah. And you can even do something like Aligning stuff. Good girl. Um, <laughs> oh <my God>. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, and you can add me one. Oh, I like important. that. Yeah. And one. Uh, I don't want to say less important. Uh, one due in two days or something. In or oh. due in twelve hours or of the important urgent one yeah yeah see what i mean um, the line. so we could we could add more uh info to that i think so yeah closing date is soon oh god Oh, married. Well, bam. I love when you say married. <laughs> it's, so you know, finished. one of the... So Quebecois. It is Quebecois. Quebecois. Well, you know, I got to give you guys a shout out. I lived there for a while. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I promise I'll never lose... Go back again. That. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, Lord I'll never that. lose... <laughs> and I'll probably never go back again <laughs> as well. <laughs> Okay, I think we're getting there uh, somewhere. Um, so what I see as a principle is good, but why not make it actionable? So now I can, um, okay, so I need yeah, another so, column here for what I understand. Yeah, I need another column. So I could maybe click on this, do in one day, and it could open it up. Mm -hmm. Or I could go like this, and then it would, it would um, filter my list something like like really big button quick filter kind of deals sorry i'm what do you say 
I didn't miss. Oh, it's okay. You can just finish your thing you're doing quickly. Okay, I just want to. Uh, Chevron. There it is. Good. Can you not put them in cells? Oh, I think you can. Just oh, FYI. it's true. Yeah. I uh, forgot about it. Okay. I would love to do, just side note, pattern analysis article just on data table mm. creation interactions. <laughs> <laughs> There's a niche. There's a niche for that. Okay. So what you said exactly? Okay. So I was just suggesting that, you know, these could actually act as big buttons. So a uh, big one click yeah. filter. So I could click on this and it would show me my three. And That's then if it. I had those, D then I could just like see my list getting smaller throughout the day. Abs got it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so th I, I think what's interesting, I just wanted to pipe in with was that our friend on stack exchange is really wondering what visually is cool for showing this. Mm -hmm. And I would just want to kind of comment on that a little bit that sometimes it's really not the complexity or how slick the data visualization is. It's how informative and, um, I don't know, the, the overall utility that it serves. So here we just use some, like the most basic thing ever, you know? So I just wanted to mention that. It's, uh, it's exactly that. And I see that there's, yeah. We can talk about it um, for so long, but I think if we summarize it, I think we'll be done. Yeah, yeah. I'll let you summarize that. I love it. Okay. No problem. Okay. So data visualization usually shows progress, but I want to show what needs to be done instead. So our friend Cassie is working on an operational dashboard for somebody who's filling out applications. And so the challenge here is around really making the, um, the dashboard as actionable as possible and informative as possible. So what happens often with um, these kind of dashboards is that they're super action oriented and uh, that's definitely uh, a challenge. So uh, Cassie's tried a few different ways. This is sort of the uh, what's existing. Um, and basically, they want some help that that kind of serves this communication purpose of like what you have to do rather than you're almost done sort of thing. So of course, we started with the problem. And um, looks a little bit like this. So we assumed it's in this mortgage context because that is a context that we know. And also it involves a lot of uh, urgency and, and things like that and workflow stuff. So made it nice and complicated. So as a mortgage broker, I must assess and act on applications in order for them to be authorized before the offer expires. So we thought about the um, kind of dashboard type of situation um, and the type of use case that's that's around this problem. So we know that urgency varies for ap uh, per applications or there may be uh, things to expose there. Uh, we wanted to answer the question like which one should be done first uh, because this is operational, it's very task oriented. Um, on that vein, typically these kind of dashboards come with um, a lot of uh, detail around status, uh, as in um, pending, urgent, blocked, whatever, whatever the status tends to be. Uh, dashboard, uh, this kind of dashboard is about work and getting stuff done rather than uh, data visualization and like fun ways to dig into the data and be nerdy. It's more like, okay, go. So a bit of a different approach that you would take. Um, we wanted to look at like how many are left. We wanted to think about always kind of question the utility of a data viz. And so we called that into question and we decided that 
you know, is this just like duct tape and we're slapping stuff around <laughs> this thing? But we actually thought, no, it is useful and it will, um, if we can make it really action oriented, then it's going to be useful for our person to get through their daily work. Um, we wanted it to orient you to what's next. Um, and just like have enough information there in the overall experience that people can figure out um, like how much time they're going to dedicate to the task or to do the planning basically that they need to do based on the context. Anything to add there? Benoit? All good. All good? Okay. Yep. So, um, so what we came up with was something really basic. We sort of had to fill in some gaps as we usually do. So making the assumption that this is an experience that is action oriented and the action is actually going to happen right here. That's what we assumed rather than an overview or like interesting facts, right? So we are at an applications page with a description as usual. And we have, uh, what we kind of created was this idea of combining uh, top level status oriented numbers with a quick filter. So what we have here is the total of the things that need to happen. Um, we sort of ad-libbed and thought about surfacing things that are even more urgent. So yes, everything needs to be dealt with, but can we really point people to like the thing that's absolutely next? So we, um, we pointed that out with this total as well. So that, that's something that you can can click on um, as well as this completed tab. So one thing that is kind of tiring about these kind of dashboards is that they can often just be like alarms all the time. Um, so we need to not necessarily forget about success in this mix as well, even though to do is the more important and actionable thing. So uh, basically our interaction goes that we can click on one of these and then just see that cue basically. Use that as a filter to um, kind of guide what, what work is next, at least that next bucket, and then use the other information presented here to guide you further around which one you do f first in that list. So, um, oh, Benoit, you also snuck in a bit of a uh, ordering in here too on that sort of queue idea. So the really, really urgent stuff is f um, brought to the top, whereas the stuff that gets a little bit less urgent is brought down in terms of the order of the list. That's our big idea. Other quick thing is, um, Don, <laughs> that um, you can represent the, these kind of workflows in multiple ways. We used a quick data table, um, but our buddy Don uh, suggested that also Kanban could be really cool. So that anything can kind of fit in there in terms of like that uh, workflow interaction below, um, depending on the preferences of the user and, and the context and all of that. So that's what we came up with as our idea. And if you know PNP, we will try to sneak it at a table. <laughs> <laughs> Even charts. So mm -hmm. fixing that a table one chart at a time. But mm -hmm. um, <laughs> <laughs> one chart at a time. Yes, exactly. Oh, one quick plug though. We have yeah. um, a really long article, I mean, a really comprehensive article <laughs> on dashboards. <laughs> that you should take a look at. And if you have any ideas um, or any pending questions around dashboards or dashboard experiences, holler at us because we are looking to iterate on that article really soon. Exactly. And if you subscribe to the newsletter, you'll be informed when we have a new version of this uh, article. Thank you, Kira, for you know cra cracking task uh, with charts with me today. Um, let's do another one in two weeks. She will be on vacation, having fun in New York, so let's not you know, disturb her. Um, in the meantime, if you have any problems, please join us uh, on YouTube, comment on it, send us an email, uh, tweet at us, um, and we'll get right into it. So have a wonderful, wonderful. day and you see too. you soon. Thank you. See you later. Good luck, Cassie. <laughs>